Okay, everybody, how are you guys doing? I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for everybody using the AA products. So once you guys see, like I'm sitting at the table, which means I'm going to tell you guys something either tech technical stuff or the gun itself, products itself, right? Actually today, when you say this gun, so I'm not going to tell you about this gun because I explained many times about this sweet baby, right? HPBP 25. It's very accurate. One of our, uh, some of our customers can do like half ammo at, at 50 yards by semi-auto, okay, not by bolt action. I can actually, I can say you shoot better than me. I only can do bolt action. I hate, be honest with you guys, I hate semi-auto. It's kind of waste, just waste ammo. I never shoot semi-auto. Okay, I just do the, do whatever. So, today's topic is related with HPBP, related with what? Related with the scope mount. Okay, so this is a topic I'm going to talk today. So one of my customer, who bought our HPBP and come across a, a problem, actually. We figured out this problem may be related by himself. It's not our products. He was complaining his like a uh, scope mount cannot put firmly on the Picatinny rail come with the gun itself. And he even sent us, okay, let me put it back. I don't want it, I don't want you guys to see, okay, who sent me this stuff. He and uh, I, I don't know what he was talking about. Then I asked him to send me back the reel from the gun. So here's the reel from the gun. And uh, this customer, you can tell, right? This is what you sent to me. Okay, so let's open it. This is what's inside. This is what's inside. Okay, what's inside. Let's put it here. Then you can tell exactly the same thing, right? Same, right? Say, okay, but I'm not going to install on this one. I'm going to install on here. Let you guys see if it's shaking or not. So, Jason, do you think we should take, no, we don't, I don't want to, because this is a new gun. Okay, so, just to present you guys more accurate information about this. I prepare a lot of stuff. The Weaver, Reza, right? For terminators, right? For terminators, okay? Made in China. Picatinny rail, cheap one. Made in China, 20 bucks stuff, okay? $200 stuff. The one I, I, I used for short, like 2,000 yard. Vortex, okay? Standard Picatinny, okay? Standard Picatinny for my thermal, okay? Standard Picatinny. Made by Lupa. Standard Picatinny made by Vortex. Militarized, okay? Military standard Picatinny, okay? AeroTech. AeroTech, okay? Picatinny. A thousand dollars star, Steiner, right? Infrared, laser, with quick release, Picatinny. So I'm going to install one, every single one of this to let you guys see if it's your problem or my problem, okay? If I can install every single of those on this piece, so which means you probably bought the wrong Picatinny reel or made in somewhere Picatinny well, not the, not the not this Picatinny well, okay? So, this is what I'm going to do. I must always have a lot of things to talk about, right? You guys can see, I'm going to put the piece customer sent back to me on here and let you guys see how tight it is, right? And, uh, Oh, it is tight. Glue it. And the one thing we do figure out, I do figure out is like uh, there's uh, some scope rings and produced by Nikon or by some, you know, those optic companies. They do have a wider than 
the one lamp she contained. That's for sure. I remember those, okay? Okay, so this, this one is actually coming from this gun, right? So I'm just going to take, take it down and use the one customer sent back and to saying doesn't work. Let's just see what happens, okay? Yeah, keep recording. Now it's, it's on, right? But I just want to take it down and re reinstall it again. Sorry guys, this, this video is going to be a little bit longer, but it's, uh, it's something to show you. What we use here is actually very standard one. But if you use some off-market stuff or so-called some you know small company or some you know very weird so-called tactical company produce some Picatinny rail, that will not work on this Picatinny rail because we use the uh, this Picatinny rail. I think is the the male standard male STD one nine one three. Okay, so it's twenty one point. 21.2 millimeters. Okay, we use if we use millimeters. 21.1 millimeters, 45 degree. Okay, but we don't talk by by the database, by the, you know by those numbers. We're talking by the by the reality. Okay, this is one you sent back to me talking about doesn't work. So I'm just going to install it. Show it to everybody, see if it works or not. Right? Numbers cannot tell the truth. We do tell the truth, right? Okay, here we go. Well, I just put it to, it's tight. Vortex, okay? Vortex Picatinny, $200 stuff. We're going to try all the way from, you know, cheap made in China stuff to those made in USA stuff. See? I only put the two screws. <coughs> Firmly tight. Firmly tight. Okay? Works, right? Vortex works. So expensive one works. Well, oh, come on, give me a break. Vortex works, okay? $200 one works. Okay. Cheap one. Cheap made in China one. No, you don't need to, see? Nice and tight. Nice and tight, okay? Cheap one works, this is $20 for each. Okay. Lupa, okay? Nice and tight. Works. Nice and tight. New part. Okay. I don't have those uh, uh, Nikon one. I, I just cannot find it. Otherwise, I can show those. AeroTech. Okay. AeroTech. Standard. Nice and tight. Oh, actually, put, oh, this one puts up so cool. <laughs> See you guys. Nice and tight. Okay. Very tight. 
One, two, three, four. Four works. Vortex. Vortex. Okay. Vortex. Oh, I just put random. Okay. Anyway. Just want to mount it, let you guys see if it works or not. Nothing more. I'm not going to against anybody. I'm just wanted to show you guys actually those are the working one. If it if it doesn't work, please do some more homework. Research it to see if you you, you bought the wrong fancy non-standard Picatinny reel. Okay? Not the not the use the scale like a manual it tell me like oh there's something wrong with you with your reel. Why why my scope brain doesn't work? Okay, so this is the fifth. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. Nice and tight. See? Nice and tight. Fifth. If you use standard Picatinny reel, it doesn't matter. Made in China or made in USA or made in blah, blah, blah. That would definitely work. If you use some... Uh, off market stuff. This is my laser, very expensive stuff. With quick, right? Quick release. See? Nice and tight. What should I say? What should I say? Quick release works, right? Nice and tight. Arrow tight. Arrow tight works, right? Cheap made in China stuff works, right? Razor works, right? Lupa works, right? Vortex works, right? Vortex, if you say those are not the you know professional one, this is professional, right? This is very professional. The one I used to shoot 2000 yard. This is professional, right? They both works. So I don't know what's wrong with you, my friend. What the problem with you? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to retake down this and shift back to you. So let yourself work on what you have for your scope ring. If your scope ring still doesn't work, let me know. I can sell you this. Made in China scope ring, very cheap. 12 bucks. You pay the shipping. Okay, 12 bucks a pair. 10 bucks, two pairs. Okay, 20 bucks for two pairs. Free shipping. Just let me know. I can I can send you those stuff. Okay, so this is your stuff. I'm going to take down. Put it back to the envelope. And receive back to you. Let your dinner know. Okay? Sorry, my friend. It's your problem, not mine. Okay? Bye bye.